everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. I want to go over why I think trading or investing is the perfect side hustle. As you can see here, I have a couple uh, bullet points here, and I just want to go over quickly. And then, at, you know, after I go through these bullet points, I'll go through a couple examples on, you know, the way that I trade depending on what my schedule is. Um, I run a business full time. I I invest 50 to 70 hours a week so some weeks are lighter some weeks are are heavier so based on that you know kind of my trading strategy changes week by week or month by month depending on how much other things that i need to do um but the one thing that i love about trading and the one the perfect side hustle for trading is because it, you could trade from anywhere now with the technology that we have we have multiple brokers i mean we have Robinhood, we have e-trade we have td ameritrade tastyworks um you know there's a lot there's a lot out there um, they have web applications that you could trade from. They have mobile applications, um, desktop, iPad, you know, whatever device that you have, um, these guys have something built for you because they want you to trade. Um, the reason why they want you to trade is because they want you to pay commissions and all that. But for your convenience, though, you could trade from you could trade from anywhere. Um, unlike a job that you show up every day, you have to go to a certain place. Um, you could trade from anywhere if you want. You could trade from your on your lunch break or. You could trade, you know, taking a road trip with your parents or whatever, whatever it is, um, you can trade from anywhere. And unlike most side hustles, you can't do that everywhere. Uh, because of the internet and the speeds that we get these days, you can literally trade and make money um, from wherever you are, even if you're not in this country. Let's say you travel overseas or, you know, you did an internship somewhere else or went to Europe or whatever, you could still, as long as you have an internet connection, you are good to go. Um, the other thing that I love about trading is that you could trade as aggressively as you want. So based on the hours that you have available, um, some people have more time to invest, some people have less time to invest. So you know, if you have more time and you have time to stick around the charts, maybe you want to do more intraday stuff and you have more time to monitor your trades. If you say, hey, I don't really have that much time, but I still want to make money, you could do you know, longer term or, or weekly, or depending on your schedule, you can really, you can really um, trade based on anything and I'll, I'll give you a couple examples on some of the strategies that I use for you know long term medium term and short term here um, the other thing that I love about trading and investing is that there's no inventory so like let's say you were starting up a side hustle a t-shirt business or selling stuff on eBay or selling stuff on Amazon you got you need cash to buy a product in hopes that you can resell it if you don't resell that product you are stuck with a bunch of t-shirts and stuff that you inventory that you have that you can't liquidate back into cash so you know unlike stocks you can what well, i mean like stocks so you can just take the cash that you have buy stocks options or futures or whatever you want to trade and then when you become profitable you can take that for cash unlike you know other side hustles you gotta buy the inventory ship the inventory make sure the customer's happy um you don't need with 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 this, you don't need like employees. You don't have other people telling you what to do. It's just you, the screen, and the other investors in the open market. Um, the other thing is, there's lots of products to trade. You know, we got stocks, ETFs, options, futures. So, based on your personality, based on the time, based on everything that you have, um, there is a product for you that you can be profitable. But maybe, maybe trading stocks isn't for you. Um, based on your personality, maybe it's not good for you. Maybe you're not making money fast enough. Um, maybe options is better for you, or maybe trading futures are better for you. Everybody has their own strengths. Everybody likes trading certain things or, or, or gravitate towards some things. At first, when you're, when you're just starting out, you may just want to kind of nibble here and there and just kind of see, you know, where, what, where your strengths are. You know, just like anything, um, you know, some people are good at baseball but not good at golf and vice versa. This is some people are really good at, great at trading stocks. Some people are not. Some people are really great at trading options. Some people are not. Some people can only trade long term. Some people can only trade short term. So it really, it really depends on who you are, your personality. But based on the amount of products and the way that you can invest today, there's something for you. Also, there's a low barrier of entry. So you can really tr get started trading with any amount. Um, you know, sure, you need for margin accounts, you need 2000 to, to get past the pattern day trading rule, you need 25,000. But you know, starting out, if you're just buying and selling stock or just buying and selling options, you can start with $100, $25, you know, to get yourself comfortable. Or you can even through TD Ameritrade, you can do paper trading, you don't even need to risk real money to learn how to trade. But the low barrier entry, what I mean is, you don't have to pay for a store front, you don't need to buy a website, you don't need to 
invest all this money just so you can sell this product. You don't need to go on eBay and pay them commit, you know, fees, even though you do pay your brokerage fees. But I would say for stocks, options, investing, trading, the barrier of entry is a lot smaller than, than um, you know, a typical business and all the things that you need to think of. Basically, all you need is a computer or a phone and then the platform and then some money. You know, and then the rest of it is you learning to make yourself better, you just taking the time to develop the skill and really trying to, you know, hone your craft. Um, it's really just you and them, you know, and I, that's what I like about that. So a lot of people don't realize this or understand that trading is, you know, you can run it like a business. You're either going to be profitable or you're not profitable. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you some examples here. Um, I've kind of the, some of the trades that I do. So long-term trading, uh, let me minimize this here. Um, long-term trading. So I do a couple things in the background. I have TD Ameritrade. I also use Tastyworks, but just for options, this is Robinhood. Um, on Robinhood on here, this is a smaller account, um, up about almost 60% this year. Sure, that's had their up and ups and downs this year, but that's what the market, you, you, there's a lot of ups and downs with the market. But as you can see here on my Robinhood account here, I have, I do have an options position. I sold a credit, a credit spread here on Starbucks. Um, and then I own some stock here and then I'll kind of walk you through some of the trades here and the same with uh, TD Ameritrade, um, kind of how I mix it up. So on the stock, so the stocks, I pretty much hold like long-term. So if you look at these Facebook shares here, it's currently at 206. You know, last time I don't really trade this. So this is, this is more for people. Yeah, I bought this September 1st, 2015 It's now, you know, three years later. We're at um, over 100% return, 133% return on this bad boy here. And you say, hey, why don't you sell this? This one's part of my long-term strategy holding. You know, this is something that's going to be five, 10 years, maybe more, who knows. Um, you basically, this strategy, you're buying stock and you're holding it for a long period of time. And, you know, we the cost was 441. It's now worth a thousand bucks. My total return here. 588 and you say that's not great for three years but literally the time that it's taken me to do this has been no effort i've taken no time to have this have it go up to 133 percent yeah you got to monitor and you know facebook did have that big scandal but that's just one example um so most of my stock here um the other thing is let's say twitter i'll show you twitter's a good example on stock that I was accumulating for the last year or so. I'll show you my orders on this. Um, okay, so I started accumulating stock here, some sh shares of stock, because sometimes when I'm not sure about a position, I just start buying small positions and start accumulating. So back in May 2017, I started buying 10 shares, you know, at 19, then it went down, I bought another 10, then it went back up, I bought another 10, and I accumulated 30 shares just on this Robinhood account. Um, those shares, we can, I think, up over 100% now. But as you can see here, I also have been trading uh, a, a couple times some puts here and some calls. So I bought some this was so this is short term so for a short term I also trade you know some some calls and puts so I, I bought outright I didn't do any credit spreads or anything fancy I just bought one I only made a dollar on that but as you can see here I um oh, this one I uh let's see here bought 420 I'm not sure where that sold that on oh, that one expire worthless but this one I bought for 22 sold for 58 so I made 30 dollars so Based on these two transactions, I was only up $10. I haven't really traded that. I trade options more on um, my other accounts here. I was just kind of getting a feel for it. Um, something better that kind of gives you SPY. I trade a lot for options on Robinhood. Not, when I say a lot, I mean not a ton. I don't really use Robinhood to do active trades or daily trades. I kind of just put some on every now and then. Um, but here, yeah, we bought, as you can see here, I bought some, oh, okay. Here's some credit spread. So when you have a credit spread, sold it for 56, bought it back for 38. What that means, credit spread, you're actually shorting premium, so you want to go down, so you collect the difference. Um, so I, you know, I, I made a profit between a 56, between 38, so I made like 20, 28 bucks on that. Um, so what I'm trading on Robinhood, I'm really just trading small. 
not doing anything crazy in this in, in this day and age. You know, you really need to uh, buckle down and, and be disciplined. Um, a lot of factors. Here's a different kind of trade here. I bought a contract, I bought one call for 61, sold it for 97. You know, that's 30, 40% profit. So, you know, if you get discipline trading like this, you can easily scale this up when you get more, when you get more money and you feel more comfortable. So, you know, instead of doing one contract, you do three contracts or five contracts, depending on your account size. You know, you don't want to take on too much risk, um, but that's a quick turn turnaround. But SPY, I trade a lot of options on that. Um, let me show you some stuff on TD Ameritrade here, some other spreads here. Let's get rid of this. I did, I'm more active on here right now. I have, um, I purchased some Twitter calls, so this is more short term. Um, I have a Starbucks credit spread here. I also had this on Robinhood, you know, we're up a, little, a couple dollars on there. Chipotle, I was short Chipotle, uh, lost, I lost about 35 bucks on this, it says here. So not too bad to just close close that out. So, you know, when you're trading part time, you know, you just want to you don't want to have too many trades open or too much to manage. And right now, you know, I've scaled back, you know, there was a big crash back in February. So I've really scaled back and just trade um, what I believe are for sure trades. And as you can see here, I do have some stock and some stuff here. Um, you know, tw I got some more Twitter stock around here. I got some options on Twitter. So, you know, there's a lot of different strategies that you can implement you know, based on here, here's an options chain, you know, you can trade oil slash CL, and those are futures, you could trade commodities, you know, silver, gold, all that. So there's something for you. I mean, here's my watch list. I trade a lot of tech companies and stuff like that. And, you know, you just trade what you're interested in. Um, you don't have to trade stocks that you're not interested. If you're not interested in Ford Motor Company, don't trade it. If you're not interested in Tesla or Amazon, don't trade it. If you don't like their products, don't trade it. Um, now, on the other side, yeah, you can you can short. That'd be fine. You know, if you don't like their products, you can short them. But you know, you want to find when you're shorting or or going long, you want to find some fundamentals. Why is there? Why are they going up? Why are they going down? You don't want to just trade because hey, I don't. I went to Starbucks today and I had a bad experience. That's not a good reason to place a short trade. Or if you went to Apple today and you had a good experience, that's not a good way to buy the stock. You have to see how their how their financials are performing. What's their current outlook? You don't buy a stock for today. You buy a stock for tomorrow and how it's going to perform in the future. No one cares what's happening today. Everyone cares what's happening in the future. So once you understand that, you'll you'll be more successful at trading. You'll be more successful at you know finding what's right for you. So I just want to go over those things real quick. You know, if you have a question, leave a comment below. Um, we're trying out a different for video format here, so leave some comments. Hit the like button and definitely subscribe.